Hello guys, this is Rich or Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following person or channel. Papa Joy M. Official, Kigwa Butigon, Sharil Jan Vlogs, Francis Capin Official, Jinarin Alferes, Follow Me, Michael Aburita TV, Carlota Garletos, Maricel Aburita, Rose Ann Villegas, Yans TV, Ever the Great Tioki, Chads D, Cosina Nikim, Arlene Balwang, May Hit, Top Rock Girl, Active Virtudis, Christina82, Rain Visto, and Jaws Travel and Tour. And I would like to shout out this word na binigay ni Hart Ponsalan. Let's rest at the promises of God. Amen. At ito pa, galing pa rin ito sa kanya. Always trust God, whatever we do. Amen and Amen. Guys, kumo sa yung day natin. Sana it was all uh, well, no? By God's grace. Ingat-ingat talaga tayo ngayon kasi maski dito sa probinsya namin, according to the news I received, uh, nagkakaubusan na ng uh, oxygen dahil sa dami na ng mga pasyente na nahawa sa ano, sa pandemic nito. Okay, let's uh, let's proceed guys, ano, sa devotional natin. Let's open our Bible to Genesis chapter 3 verses 1 to 10. The title sa Bible is The Fall of Man. No? Still, I'm using the devotional study Bible para mas maintindihan talaga natin kung ano yung word. No? The Fall of Man, ang title niya dito sa Bible. Okay. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat from the trees in the garden, but God did say you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it or you will die. You will not surely die, the serpent said to the woman. For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eyes, and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She gave also some to her husband, who was with her, with her and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made covering for themselves. Then the man and his wife hid the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And they hid from the Lord among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked. So I hid. Amen and Amen. So guys, doon, no, sa binasa natin, nakita na guilty yung man talaga. Kasi nga, they even realize no, na tinanong sila ni Lord, Why are you hiding? Because you're naked. We are naked. Who told you you are naked? No? Grabe mag-investigate talaga si Lord. Okay guys, let's uh, uh, proceed to ano, no? The focus verse natin ngayon is uh, in Genesis 3, 9. And it says, But the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? Okay, so the title of our devotion for this evening is Hide and Seek. Okay. He's going to find me. I thought I felt my little heart pound faster as I heard my five-year-old cousin a footstep around the corner. He was coming closer five steps away. Three, two, found you. Hide and seek. Most have found memories of playing the game as child, as children. Yet sometimes life, the fear of being found isn't fun, but it rooted in the deep instinct to flee. People may dislike what they see. No, uh, We enjoyed uh, 
playing that game when we are still uh, small but yet no when we are guilty of sin we really wanted to uh, hide or else escape from that place hindi na tayo makita ng ibang tao as children of fallen world we are prone to play what a friend of mine label a mix up game of hide and seek between God and us. It's more like a game of pretending to hide because either way, he sees all the way through to our messy thoughts and wrong choices. We know it. Though we like to pretend, he can't really see. Yeah, no? Totoo naman talaga. Yet God continues to seek. Come out, he calls to us. I want to see you, even your most shameful parts, an echo of the same voice that called to the first Human who hid out of fear. Where are you? Says a warm invitation voice in the form of piercing question. Come out of hiding it, the child, and come back into a relationship with me. It may seem far too risky, preposterous even, but there, within safe confines of our father's care, any of us, no matter what we've done or failed to do, can be fully known and loved. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, no? Yes, that's true. Sometimes we pretend na hindi tayo nakita ni Lord sa mga ginagawa natin, but yet, everything is seen by God kung ano yung mga ginagawa natin. Even the secret uh, uh, thing na ginawa natin, nakitang-kita niya talaga. But the Lord is calling us, where are you? No? Uh, God wants us to you know, to come out and tell him about us. Kasi nga, nagkasala tayo. God's uh, forgiving arms is so free and so wide to embrace us. No? Na matuwa siya na we confess our sin to him. And the forgiveness of God is really there. Kasi alam niya na makasalanan talaga yung tao. No? Okay, so let's proceed to the two questions, guys. How is it comforting to know that God sees you and still longs for you to come to Him? Yes, very comforting. No, that time I was uh, in Silang Cavite for a training. No, parang uh, I really experienced. Yung I consider myself as a glass. No, na binasag talaga, broken into pieces, and then later on hindi isa-isa na binalik ni Lord. Doon ko na-experience yung ano yung uh, parang yung shame, yung humility na uh, God is really there. I really experienced na na-imagine ko talaga na God is caressing me, uh, hugging me, na kinakares niya yung uh, likod ko na it's all gone, my child. You are forgiven, no? Yes, we do. We do a process. Sa uh, ginawa namin that time, no? Uh, it's a deliverance, and I'm so happy. It was there that I experienced na bino ako muli ni Lord. Then kagabi then kahapon I seriously pray for something, but yet God did not give it to me. So yun sabi ko Lord, I have to start from the very beginning. Just help me to start. Give me wisdom, knowledge, understanding in how to do all these things teach me not to become discouraged but instead you know, uh, to really move on not to make the negative a capital but a God's inspiration coming from him would be my capital no? the second question guys is how is that knowledge freeing yeah it really frees me parang I feel floating no no uh, ginawa namin yun I feel so. Uh, I will. I feel floating, and uh, I'm even ashamed to face uh, people because uh, I know I'm guilty of what I have done. Yun din pala yung mga ano yung mga uh, nangyari na feel ng mga kakasik ko na mga doctors, no? As uh, we proceeded in the, that uh, session, no? kasi we stayed there for one month, no? We went to picnic group ng Tagaytay para nag retreat kami doon. And then, there's an evaluation kung ano daw yung feeling namin na uh, ganun. So, yun. We share each other's feeling. And then, yung relationship namin no, as a group of doctors, nurses, med techs, no, paramedicals is nagiging closer kami. No? Okay. So, guys, if God is calling you, where are you? Tell him, here I am, Lord. No? 
na hindi tayo magtago sa kanya. But instead, we will uh, tell everything to God. No? Okay, so let's uh, pray, guys. Father, we thank you, God, for the challenge of calling us na like the way you call Adam, O Lord God. But yet, there are times, of God, na we really parang nakokompromise kami and we justify because we are so guilty of what we have done. We just pray that God may ikan lang yung manguna magtas sa heart namin. Open up our hearts, mind, body, soul, and spirit that we may encourage to really go out and tell you who we are because uh, your saving grace is there. Your forgiving grace is also there too. Just really forgive us of all these things. Lord, teach us not to be afraid of telling what's uh, Uh, wrong with us and what, what and what we have done in order to experience your forgiving grace so I mean, thank you dear God that you are a forgiving God oh Lord. Lord thank you we praise you we bless you the one who fully knows us conditionally conditionally and loves us is only you amen and amen okay guys sana guys may natutuhan tayo sa devotional natin ngayon no? sana na bless tayo thank you for coming God bless us all no? Carlita uh, Carlito Car Carlota Gallego as I'm still praying for that no? sana God would do a miracle to your friend <clears throat> sinay mo sa akin no? so if anybody of you na may uh, concern na uh, if you pray I would be glad to pray for that person no? hindi ko Though hindi ko sila nakita, hindi ko kayo nakita, I haven't met you yet, but yet, no, because you're in this channel, I'll be praying for you. No? Okay guys, so God bless us all because I know God will surely bless us 10 times better. This is again Rich of Rich TV, kita-kita tayo muli at hanggang sa muli, paalam!